my name is Brenda Fitzgerald. I'm the Programs and Volunteer Coordinator here at the Kingston Council on Aging. Welcome to our monthly update to see what's happening here at our busy center. So as always, we have six different card groups, 11 exercise groups, four crafting groups, two quilting classes. And in June, we're hoping to add an additional quilting class to make fidget blankets. And I know that sounds interesting. Um, I can certainly explain that. You can give me a call at any time. We're hoping to make those blankets for the memory care units uh, locally here, uh, say Wingate or um, Stafford Nurse Nursing Home, who support us a lot here at the center. We're hoping to have that project complete in June. So certainly call, inquire, and sign up. Um, we have groups that meet on Tuesday evenings here. We have two support groups, the bereavement and the cancer support group. So always looking um, you know, for more participants in the, with those groups. Um, we have our specialized monthly programs. The public health nurse is here twice a month. We have hearing screenings once a month and the attorney services once a month. Friday afternoons, we now have board games uh, that are here from 12 to three which is wonderful, get people off their devices, get them out of the house, come on down, a lot of laughs. We play Scrabble, left, right, center, whatever folks wanna play. We have a lot of board games here that have been donated through the years and we'd love to have people in for that. And that is called Games, Games and More Games. You'll see that in our news. Then through Old Colony Elder Services, we always have our Meals on Wheels program. That's every day. Most people do know what that is. It's um, home delivered meals. And again, it's more than just that meal. It's also a friendly visit and a wellness check for our seniors uh, that may be homebound or have difficulty getting out. They really usually are looking forward to that visit from our Meals on Wheels volunteer drivers. We have our special lunch the third Tuesday of every month. And again, that's through Old Colony Elder Services. Phil is our meal site manager. He's a lot of fun, really enjoys it, decorates, nice home cooked meals. Uh, that are here for folks to sign up for as well. We have our Shine Counselor here every Wednesday afternoon, as long as she has appointments. She has been doing uh, Shine um, health insurance needs of our seniors for a long time. We are very lucky to have our Shine Counselor and certainly if you need help with Medicare, give us a call. We have our outreach services. Our outreach coordinator is Martha. She's just wonderful, very approachable come on down or give us a call. She can help you with any um, applications for housing, SNAP, um, fuel assistance, and many other things. If you're not sure what outreach services are and what Martha can do to help you, give her a call. Um, call the front desk, we'll connect you right to her and we'll get you some help through outreach. We have our Gatra vans here. Um, if you need a ride to the center to join one of our programs, Call Gatra to book your ride. Um, yes, our vans are still here through Kingston, but as of um, July, 2020, um, we now book our rides through Gatra. Um, two new programs we're gonna be starting in May, uh, starting back up, better put, will be our metal detecting club, which will be the fourth Tuesday of every month at five o'clock. So our active seniors that are still working, shouldn't interfere with your work day. Come on down, we meet here at the center. It's a great group. Um, and a lot of times too, they share their um, findings that they do maybe even outside of the group or through the years um, with that metal detecting group. We're gonna have our booster shot clinic with our public health nurse here on Tuesday, May 31st from nine to 11. Um, our public health nurse always thinks of the center um, is obtaining some booster shots. Any questions on that? And of course, a sign up so she can have an idea how many folks will be coming for those for those booster shots. Give a call over to the center, ask for Brenda Fitzgerald or anybody will help you that answers. And again, that's on Tuesday, May 31st from 9 to 11. We're thrilled to have that service. We're going to have caption call here, um, which is telephones for hard people who are hard of hearing. On Thursday, May 12th, they'll be right in the lobby. No sign up is necessary. Um, 
those are wonderful things for, um, it also has a display for the words that are coming through for folks that can't, you know, have a hard time hearing. Most of the time, this uh, service and telephone is free. They get funding from different places. I won't, you know, say where because that isn't my expertise. But we have, again, cap the company caption call coming on uh, May 12th at 10 o'clock. Come on down if that's something you're interested or if you know somebody in need of a hard of hearing phone. We always have our COA advisory board that meets the second Tuesday of every month at 1130. All are welcome. Um, come on down. Anything you want to you know, discuss, know about here at the center, um, we'd love to have you in all um, inquiries and input are welcome. We have our triad meetings here the fourth Tuesday of every month at 1130. That has been well received. So that's for the safety of our seniors. So the senior center works with the sheriff's department, the DA's office, police and fire. We have our elder affairs liaison, Officer Howell. He did a wonderful presentation yesterday on the crimes here in Kingston, equipped with the slideshow and all kinds of statistics that were very interesting to know, you know, what's going on locally and how to stay safe and keep us aware of, you know, what's the current scam that's going around. Um, keep us all informed. And of course, information, you know, is wonderful to keep us protected. Our friends group are having their social events. They've been back. So the second Tuesday of every month, they're having their friends tea. That was wonderful um, in April here in this month. So the next one will be on Wednesday, May 11th. Um, come on down, there's a sign up sheet here. We can certainly let you know more about it if you've never been. It's a so social event. So ladies last week that came to the center for the tea um, came dressed in beautiful hats and um, had a wonderful time. It's a really nice social time with treats and tea just as it sounds. So the friend's tea will be Wednesday, May 11. They're also gonna have a catered meal here. Um, give us a call. We can let you know more information on that, where it's going to be, um, the meal is going to come from. And the, it's possible that we may have seniors um, pay something towards the meal. As we all know, inflation and things have gotten so expensive. Um, I think, you know, the meals went up for most places. So it may be, that um, the seniors, you know, subsidize, subsidize the cost a little bit for us. In honor of the 85 volunteers we've had working here at the center in the last year, we are gonna have our volunteer appreciation lunch in June. Um, we look forward to announcing that date. We've got a lot to put together for that. We're so grateful for our volunteers. They are the heart of our center. They'll work alongside the staff. Um, we're so happy to have this event. We just have a few more things to get um, in order. And again, we'll be looking forward to announcing that date for our volunteer appreciation lunch in June. That is our monthly update. Feel free to call the center. Call. Um, you can call my direct line. Again, I'm Brenda Fitzgerald. My direct number is 781. 831-6042. Hello, my name is Susan Larkin. I am the activities coordinator for the Pembroke Council on Aging. May is a great month to get inspired. Try something different each day. We have some great programs here and coming up in the summer as well. Our ongoing night programs on Wednesdays are going strong. We still have space in our eight week evening art class starting May 4th from 6 to 7 p.m. under the direction of Julie Quill. $40 includes all supplies. On Tuesday, May 24th at 5.30 p.m., Dr. Ashley Berg of the MCR Chiropractic in Pembroke and Renee King of Bay State Physical Therapy will hold a presentation on Correct Your Posture, ways to help improve your overall health and wellness. Would you like to learn more about family history and other types of genealogy? An introduction to genealogy will be presented by Marie Hughes, June 20th from 5 to 6.30 p.m.
We have some special events starting in June. We're having an evening summer music program on Monday nights each month. We are looking forward to hosting these very talented musicians. Come and enjoy some great music. Back by popular demand, Single Bingos on Wednesday, May 4th at 2.30 p.m. Prizes will be awarded. And of course, our monthly Monday's bingo is always a good time. Come and win some money. The Friends of the Council on Aging are hosting a free black and white event on Monday, May 9th at 1230, serving sub sandwiches and desserts. Also, our first record hop is Friday, June 24th at 1130 to 230. Dig out your poodle skirt and saddle shoes. It's filling up. Register as soon as possible. Come learn about the science of happiness and how to become happier on June 15th at 3 p.m. We are having Pam Jerome, a positive psychology speaker and life coach, sponsored in part by the Friends of the Council on, Council on Aging. We have two free lunches and learns for May. Come join us on May 18th at 1130, courtesy of All American Assisted Living of Hanson and learn about the differences between assisted living and skilled nursing facilities. Soup and salad and sandwich and dessert will be available. Sign up is necessary. The second lunch and learn is on Wednesday, May 25th from 12 to 1 p.m. Planning Your Future, sponsored by Mass Bar Association. Cheeseburgers, fries, and three beans salad and a cookie will be served. This is a free event, but you must sign up. Join us for our widely popular exercise classes. Chair exercises on Mondays at 10 a.m. Happy Feet Walking is free every Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. And the following uh, $5 each class. Rhythmic Relaxation Tuesdays at 11, Zumba Tuesdays at 1, and Tai Chi Wednesdays at 1. Thursday mornings is a jazz class at 9, tap dancing at 10, and 30.30 at 11. Also, line dancing is also on Fridays at 10 a.m. Always something is interesting going on in our memory cafe, which is once a month on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m. Our card games are very popular, too. Cribbage is on Mondays at 1 and left center right at 1. Tuesdays at, is poker at 2 o'clock and whist and left center right are both on Thursdays at 1 p.m. The new drop in and have some fun playing ping pong or Jenga every Thursdays at 2 p.m. And our May craft is Friday, May 13th at 10 a.m. It's a door wreath for Veterans Day. The cost is $5 and you have to sign up. Our support groups are Veterans and Veterans Coffee Hour on Tuesdays at 9 and 9 a.m. once a month. We have also have a dementia support group sponsored by Bridges of Epic twice a month, the second and fourth Tuesdays at 1.30. Also, our grief support group meets every Wednesday at 10 a.m. If you like to knit, we have a knitting group that meets every Monday at 1 p.m. There is so much going on. We hope you come in and join us for the merry month of May. Call us at 781-294-8220 to sign up for our monthly newsletter. Thank you all and hope to see some new faces here at the Pembroke Council on Aging. Thank you. Hi everyone. I'm Beth Hadfield, the activity coordinator at the Center for Active Living, commonly known as CAL in the Plymouth community. We offer both in-person and Zoom programming to meet people where they are comfortable. I'd like to take a moment and also thank Duxbury, Kingston, and the Pembroke COA for all they do for seniors in all of our communities. We work together as an amazing unit. We're offering some new health, fitness, and wellness classes. We have added Boxing Fitness with Janet Enos Wednesdays at 11.15 at Memorial Hall, as well as bar class 
with Sam Cox at 10 a.m. All our classes, even though they happen in Memorial Hall, you would still call the center to register. We do have parking accommodations. You can get all the information from our newsletter or calling us. We have also added, starting in May, Yoga Flow with Kelly Pearson. It's a higher uh, yoga class where you, we will be doing more on the floor, on the mat. That happens at 10 a.m. at the Cal. Marilyn Levine is also offering Creating the Life You Want. It is an eight-week course about changing your mindset about life. This course will run on Tuesdays starting May 10th at 10 a.m. Please call the center to register, as you will for all of the classes. Space is limited for Maryland's class to only 15. It gives people the opportunity to talk and be heard in class by keeping it small. Select board mem liaison Harry Helm also comes to talk and listen at the Cal once a month. His time slot is the fourth Thursday of the month at 1 p.m. Bring your questions for an interactive discussion with Harry. The Friends of the PCOA help support our programming events at the Cal. Without them, we would have far less programming. This month, we are offering, the Friends will be offering healthy bone and veggie broth with Therapy Gardens. Yes, you may have heard me mention that back in March, but we have an issue and it will be happening May 2nd. During this program, you will learn the health benefits of homemade bone and veggie broth. You will also get to sample some different kinds of broth and learn how to make them yourself. There's only a few spaces left. The friends are also sponsoring the Cal Dance Party, which is now back with John Peters. Our next dance party is Friday, May 20th at 2 p.m. Please come join us. It is an amazing afternoon of dancing, music enjoyment, and camaraderie with friends. You don't want to come alone? Bring your friend with you. You don't have to dance. You just have to enjoy being with other people. John is great, and he does teach a few different dances, and he might even spin you around the floor if you would like to dance yourself as a couple. If you're looking to expand your knowledge base, Cal is working in partnership with Bridgewater State University Senior College, is what we call it. The second half of our spring semester is currently underway. But if you have knowledge in a specific subject and you would like to share it, we need to get you in touch with Jen Reed, who coordinates senior college through BSU. If you need to get in touch with her because you would like to present a class, please reach out to me or Michelle, our director, and we will get you in touch with Jen immediately. We are always looking for new classes that we can offer here at the Cal. Our next semester will be fall, and I don't believe all the sessions are booked for live classes here in our classroom on the lower level. The two courses that will be happening right now for the, the second half of the spring semester are American Political Process in the Movies with Dr. John Sullivan, who was a teacher of history and psychology at Duxbury High School for 38 years. The second workshop is the Senior Acting Workshop with Sheila Kelleher. She is performer and director of community theater. The newest, we have two new art classes um, at the Cal. One is Swedish Weaving. Please, I know you've seen it in the newsletter and you've heard me mention it before. Come in on a Friday morning at 10, see what it's all about. I will tell you that I have learned how to do it and I find it 
so therapeutic and enjoying. Amazing. The second art class that we're offering is with Cindy Walsh Hamlin, and it's acrylic painting on Fridays from 9.30 to 1.30. As you all know, Cindy is amazing, and you will create an entire uh, art project in the day that you come. She offers so much to our seniors and in the most positive of ways. Um, give it a try. There are a, a supply, there is a supply list available. So please give us a call and we'll tell you what you need for class. If you're looking for support with professional guidance, we offer a six week long general grief support with Old Colony Hospice and Palliative Care. It is an incredible class, and our next six weeks start May 23rd. It's a little longer than six weeks. We have a few days off in between, but it's an amazing course. We also have a once a month monthly support with Beacon Hospice. Our newest technology class is Computer Talks with Roy Z. Each month, his topic changes. Roy has so much to offer, having been a local business owner in Plymouth for many years. Please come and stop by on a day he's here. He really can educate you on what you need for a computer. Representatives Matt Muratori and Kathy Lenatra also come monthly. They alternate each month. Our next visit will be Matt on Thursday, May 12th at 1030. Please stop by and bring your questions. We are also doing a garden gathering out back with Meg Riley from the 4-H Extension. We have our own raised garden out behind our building. We need to get it ready to grow some veggies and herbs. Please join us on Tuesday, May 10th at 1 o'clock out back. Don't forget your gloves, and if you have a hand tool, it will be very helpful. Hearing Life will also be doing a discussion at the end of May on the hidden risks of untreated hearing loss. We all know that hearing is everything. If you think this might be affecting you, I think this is the perfect talk to come and listen to. It's Thursday, May 26th at 2 p.m. The Cal truly does have something for everyone. Our programming is expanding every month with more music, fitness, and fun. Stop by, say hello, and see what we're all about. Thank you, and have a great day.